The movie opens with a gruesome scene of a man who's covered in blood. He's wincing in pain. The scene pans to a man driving by a city and observing the people around him. The man has a very monotonous life, as he grabs water jars and transfers them from one place to another. He continually moves in a van from place to place. The man, whose name is Ali, works in a parking lot. He gets yelled at by the owner for not working consistently and would get fired. Ali apologizes, and his boss leaves. He's stationed at his job, when a blind girl suddenly comes up and starts handing him snacks and goodies. Ali is really confused but listens in as the girl excitedly hands him all the food. Apparently, the girl's uncle used to work before Ali, and she hadn't known that he had already quit. Ali tells her about her uncle quitting, and the girl is shocked. She asks all sorts of questions about how and why he quit. She asks him to hand her all that she gave him, since he's not her uncle. Ali hands them back to her and she quickly leaves. Suddenly, it starts raining, and the girl is elated. She feels the raindrops on her face, but Ali gets concerned for her. He asks her to stay with him for a bit until the rain stops. The girl agrees, and they stay inside the booth together, watching movies. Ali is extremely intrigued by her bubbly and happy personality. She listens to the movie and laughs along as they eat snacks. Ali keeps staring at her and the girl notices a change in the aura. Finally, the rain stopped pouring and she got up to leave. She leaves all the snacks left for him to enjoy. Ali takes it, and she asks him to take care of himself and the plants in the booth. She smiles and bids him goodbye. She goes back home, and Ali ends his shift. He gets home and showers, then goes back to the snacks she gave him. He opens a box and starts munching on them. He instantly likes them a lot and finishes them all. The next day, the girl, whose name is Hazel, dresses up and goes to work. She works at a call center and helps people with problems. Her coworker tells her that she couldn't come with her to a concert that they had planned long ago. She asks others if they'd accompany her, but they all decline the offer. Just then, her boss comes in and praises her for her hard work. But something's wrong. He touches her in a weird way and tries to get closer, which makes her visibly uncomfortable. He leaves quickly, and Hazel is relieved. On the other hand, Ali is in his van again, delivering water. They supply water to many households. He's sitting in the van when an old man sees him and instantly gets enraged. The man comes up to Ali and curses him out. He tells Ali to go away and never show his face again. Ali is hurt, but then another guy comes up and invites him inside what seems to be a coaching center. The old man is still yelling at him. He turns out to be Ali's boxing coach. Ali was a boxer who was ferocious but suddenly left boxing. His coach is mad at him to this day for betraying him and quitting boxing. His partner tries to comfort him, but Ali is beyond hurt. His partner asks him to leave so that he can convince the coach, and Ali agrees. He's going back to his van when another boxer comes up to him and mocks him for quitting fighting and supplying water instead. Ali gets out of there saying he's never going back to fighting. At night, Hazel and Ali meet up again and watch movies. Hazel makes fun of him since he stinks after working out. Ali becomes conscious of his body odor and quickly washes off his clothes and feet thoroughly. They talk for a bit, and Ali hands him the container she gave him. He even gives her a peach as a thank you. Ali is very awkward in front of Hazel. They finally shake hands and bid goodbye. When Hazel asks why his hands are so off, he doesn't say anything and pulls his hand away. Hazel understands and leaves soon. At home, Hazel is in the washroom when water starts leaking. She starts to panic and quickly drains it out. Hazel and Ali meet up regularly. They watch movies, and Hazel asks if Ali is handsome since she can't see. Ali replies that he doesn't know, and Hazel says he must not be handsome if he doesn't really know. Ali doesn't say anything, and Hazel says it's time to leave. She's about to go home when a car speeds past her. She is shocked and falls to the ground. Ali comes to her rescue, but she's hurt. He takes her to the hospital, where he waits for her. He supports her as she walks with the help of her cane. Hazel soon gets tired and Ali offers to carry her. He carries her on his back and walks her home despite being tired himself. She's very playful and keeps joking. He carries her up multiple stairs and gets her home, even after sweating. Hazel thanks him and asks him to help with her clogged bathroom. He fixes her bathroom, but on the way back, Hazel slips again and Ali grabs her. In the process, her angel statue breaks, which Ali keeps to himself in order to fix. Hazel asks him to come to the concert with him, and Ali agrees. Secretly, Hazel has developed a crush on Ali too. She goes to the salon to get ready and impress Ali. The makeup artist also teases her for getting dolled up. Hazel is excited to go, and Ali falls for her after seeing her ready for the concert. He is stunned by her beauty and they go to the concert together. A romantic song comes along, and the two of them enjoy the night. Hazel sings along, and Ali stares at her even more than the singer in the concert. They go to have dinner soon, and Hazel spills some of the food. Ali helps her clean it up. Hazel keeps the conversation going, but Ali doesn't speak much. She asks him why he didn't study, to which he retorts and mocks her for asking so many questions. He is incredibly rude to her, so she walks away and he follows her. As she's about to leave, he tells her all there is to him so that she doesn't leave. He tells her that he's a former boxer and he's done some pretty awful things in the past, 
which is why he got so riled up for a second there. The next day, Ali comes to deliver water again. His coach calls him inside and talks about what he did before, which is unforgivable. The coach scolds him for never coming back after quitting. At least a phone call would suffice, but then Ali says he was in prison for four years. The coach is shocked and asks him for the reason. Ali says how, after quitting boxing, he started working for loan sharks and would beat people who were in debt. One night, he was going to do the usual. He follows a man inside a building and brutally beats him up. One punch after the other, he accidentally lights the man on fire. The police came right then and arrested him, but Ali says he needs a fresh start. On the other hand, Hazel is called by her boss in the office. She is very uncomfortable but obeys him. He keeps on touching her and always offers her a present. She declines, but he insists, and she accepts. He asks her out, but she refuses, saying she plans for dinner. Ali still has the angel he took from Hazel. He fixes it and plans to give it to her. When Hazel is home alone, she feels someone's presence. Turns out, it's her boss who stalked her all the way back home. She is extremely nervous and he barges into her house. She offers him a glass of juice but stays alert. He confesses how much he likes her and even divorced his wife. He gets the present he gave her from her bag and opens it to reveal a necklace. He puts it around her neck. He starts feeling her up and tries to kiss her. Hazel is extremely nervous and pushes him out. He apologizes for his mistake and tries to calm her down, but she's way too nervous. She falls on the ground and threatens him to stay away. But just then, Ali comes in. He grabs her boss, Mr. Kennan, and beats him up. Mr. Kennan is drunk and cannot handle his beating. Hazel screams, pleading with him to stop. Mr. Kennan struggles to get up but runs away. Ali asks Hazel if she's okay, but she asks him why he would do such a thing. She is afraid that he might fire her and she wouldn't get a job anywhere else. Ali tells her that he'll take care of her and find her a job, but Hazel nervously tells him she's going to get treated the same way everywhere she goes, and Ali just can't beat everyone up. She feels pathetic for needing someone's help, even to defend herself, and asks him to leave. Ali is devastated and apologizes. He leaves, placing the fixed angel on a table. Hazel feels hollow and sad without him, and so does Ali. He walks around like a nomad in her remembrance. Hazel feels like her life has no purpose. One day, Ali meets Hazel. She tells him that she has quit her job and would like to go on a date with him. Ali agrees as he promised he'd help her out. Ali shows up at her house the next day with a cute puppy. Hazel is delighted. She is very excited and instantly falls in love with the puppy. She thanks him profusely. She adores the puppy, which which they named after the Northern Star. Hazel clings to the puppy and they go to the riverside on a date. Hazel sits on a rock and asks Ali to give her two stones. She holds them close to her and gives one to Ali as a memento, something to remember her by. Ali smiles at that gesture and asks her to come with him as he wants to show her something. She carries her and walks into the river. There's a tree nearby with deep roots, and the river is moving around it. There's a swing hanging from the branch of the tree, and Ali rocks back and forth. Hazel laughs and giggles as she's having the time of her life. The next day, Hazel is sitting with her puppy, Simmel, when she takes it for a walk. Ali comes home to see Hazel gone. He's walking randomly when his leg hits the table. He realizes how difficult it must be for Hazel and removes anything in the house that might hurt her. He even shimmies the bed so that it gets maximum sunlight. When Hazel comes back, he unties her shoes and places Simmel in its pretty basket. He then takes her and shows her everything he's done. She sits on the bed and feels the light hit her face. She instantly lights up and her heart fills up with love. She is so grateful to Ali and thanks him profusely. She kisses him, and Ali is shocked at first but slowly melts into the kiss. They kiss endlessly and spend the night together. Days pass by and Ali isn't the same brooding, upset man anymore. He's happy and cheerful. He plays with the kids in the neighborhood and laughs often. He has fun times with Hazel as they watch movies together. Ali and Hazel have fallen for each other completely and can't stand the thought of losing one another. Hazel tells him that they'll always be happy. Suddenly, Ali's back hurts and Hazel senses it. She gets on top of him and gives him a massage to release the tense notes. He felt instantly relieved. Hazel describes how she's always wanted to do so many things but couldn't because of her disability. Ali asks her if she wants to open a pottery shop where they sell pots, vases, and flowers. Hazel instantly agrees, and they're really happy to be in each other's lives. They kiss, and Ali confesses that she is the air that he breathes, and that she's the one who finally gave him life. Hazel reciprocates the feeling, and they get lost in each other's embrace. They make love and spend the night together. The next morning, Hazel makes breakfast, and Ali smiles at her. He eats breakfast, and Hazel tells him she wants to take him somewhere. Ali happily agrees, and the two have breakfast together. It's Hazel's birthday. Ali takes a beautiful flower and tucks it in her ears and wishes her a happy birthday. After breakfast, they go to the cemetery. They stand in front of Hazel's parents' grave. She introduces Ali to her parents. Ali places a flower on their grave, and Hazel gushes about how much she loved them and how they were always protecting her. Ali asks her how they died, 
and then a big secret is revealed. Five years ago, Hazel and her parents were coming home from celebrating her birthday. They were in the car, joking around and laughing. Hazel drives around, but suddenly she sees a burning man falling from a building. Ali realizes the scenario. The man was the same man who Ali had accidentally burned in jail. As Hazel looks at the burning man, a truck crashes into the car and a huge accident occurs, which kills her parents and causes Hazel to lose her eyesight. Ali realizes that he's the reason Hazel is blind and an orphan. He can't handle the information and unleashes his anger on a beanbag. He breaks down in front of it. He can't forgive himself for it. Hazel survives the accident, but she is bloodied. Ali wails in guilt. The next day, he goes back to Hazel and doesn't see her. Instead, there are glass pieces on the floor. Ali senses something is wrong and goes to the hospital. He sees her there and she informs him, saying she just fell. The doctor tells Ali that Hazel is losing whatever sight she had left and will be left permanently blind if she isn't operated on within a month. The surgery is very costly, but Ali decides he will pay for it nonetheless. He goes back to his coach and a fellow boxer and tells them everything. They tell him they don't have that much money but would help him get a loan. But that's not satisfactory enough for Ali. He angrily stomps away, which worries the coach a lot. He then goes to one of the other boxers and asks him for money. He offers Ali even more money but asks him to help him. Ali doesn't know what to do. At night, the two of them go to the amusement park together and go on rides. Hazel is very excited and looks for more rides, but Ali is silent. He asks Hazel to get the surgery, but she says she can't afford it. She blames herself for her parents' death. She's not able to see that getting rid of the guilt she has because she knows she's also suffering. She further adds that she only needs Ali to be happy with no knowledge of his past. Ali feels extremely guilty but tries to convince her to get the surgery. She agrees to go through it, and they continue enjoying themselves at the park. Ali loves her a lot and is very scared of losing her. He decides to start boxing again and works extremely hard to gain back his skills and stamina. Hazel is still completely head over heels for him. Ali is bound to go to any extent to get the money for her surgery. His coach is horrified to learn this because the fights are extremely dangerous and could result in his death. But Ali's friend defends him, saying that they have no money and Ali would feel guilty for the rest of his life if he didn't get Hazel the surgery. No one has money, so he has to put his life at risk. Hazel is worried about this, but Ali assures her, saying no one could hurt him and he'll always be there for her. The man who hired Ali is happy that Ali is back to being the ferocious man he was. Ali asks him for money, but he stalls. He tells Ali about the fight and how he could get severely injured or even die. Ali doesn't care and just wants the money. The man gives Ali the money and tells him he will give him more after Ali continues to fight. Hazel is finally about to get her surgery and she is very excited. She wants to look at Ali's face for the rest of her life. Ali tells her he's ugly, but she doesn't care. The next morning, Hazel is taken for surgery. She asks Ali to wait for her as she wants to see his face first. But Ali leaves. He changes his identity and goes to Bulgaria for the fight. He has adopted a whole new persona. He gets into the area and sees men on the brink of death and helpless on the ground. The fights are insane and extremely dangerous. The man inside the ring is very scary and knocks out all his opponents. Ali is asked to fight well and focus only on his survival. He goes inside the ring, hoping for the best. He looks at people all around him, betting on the man they think is going to make it out alive. There's commotion and cheering all around. Ali's opponent is a big, bulky man. The man who hired Ali wants Ali to die so that he doesn't have to give him the money. He was certain that Ali wouldn't come out alive. The fight begins, and Ali is losing. They fight on and on, but Ali is already injured. The bulky man shows no mercy. Ali is on the ground thinking about Hazel and their moments together. That gives him the strength to get up again even though he's covered in blood. This is the scene shown at the beginning of the movie. He imagines all the times he spent with Hazel and how dearly he loves her. He gets up again and beats up the big bulky man. By luck and Hazel's love, he wins the fight. Everyone is stunned to see this. Ali is returning home and calls to ask for Hazel's condition. But just then, he is hit by a car. Some men come out of the car, steal all his money, and stab him continuously. They threw his body down a lake. Hazel's surgery is complete, but she refuses to open her bandages without Ali. She stops the doctors from examining her and waits for Ali endlessly. She fights with all the hospital staff so that she can wait until Ali arrives. But Ali never comes back, he's gone. Hazel can finally see, but she never got to see Ali. She misses him day and night and always carries the rock she chose on the riverbank as a remembrance. She is lost without Ali, and her life feels more miserable than when she was blind. She doesn't come out of her house for days and doesn't even pay her rent due to being kicked out. She starts vacating when she suddenly receives a letter from Ali confessing to everything. He explains everything, from the accident to his way of getting rid of the guilt. He doesn't want to affect her life anymore after the amount of damage he's already done. 
so he decides to leave. Hazel cries endlessly as she comes to know the truth. A year passes, and Hazel opens the shop she wanted to open with Ollie. A customer there asks her out on a date, but she declines, saying she is married. The customer compliments her, saying she's so beautiful and talented. Hazel smiles and goes back to work. She isn't married but says so anyway. She goes to the nearby hospital to visit all the elderly patients. She offers her massages. Just then, she notices another man lying beside the old patient. It's none other than Ollie, but she doesn't recognize him since she's never seen him. Ollie is hurt and heartbroken to see that he doesn't say anything. He's been through a lot and only recently started walking. Hazel tries to talk to him, but he doesn't utter a word. She offers him her massage. She feels around his body and gets familiar with her touch. But since he has a new identity now, she brushes it off, thinking it's not Ollie. Hazel wishes him well and walks away. Tears escape Ollie's eyes as he sees Hazel walk away. He has still held onto the rock she gave him, but he's lost it. The next day, Hazel goes back to work with Simmel and decides to take her for a walk. Just then, Ollie walks, but his legs still don't work. He goes into Hazel's shop and instantly recognizes it because of all the plants, as Hazel used to love them and take extreme care of them. But he thinks Hazel's business partner is actually her husband. As he's going back, Simmel recognizes Ollie and pounces on him happily. Hazel stops Simmel and apologizes for Simmel's behavior. Ollie doesn't speak and walks away as Simmel barks for him to come back. Hazel is shocked at her dog's sudden behavior. Ollie is hurt, and tears stream down his eyes. Hazel comes back to her shop to find her pet turtle missing. Her business partner tells her that Ollie came there and bought her favorite flowers. Hazel realizes the man was Ollie all along and runs after him. She searches for him everywhere but can't find him. She falls down on the ground and sobs loudly for losing Ollie once again. But she doesn't give up and keeps searching for him. She contacts the hospital as well to find out if he's been discharged. Hazel's turtle, kissed by Ollie, who had taken it, is let back into the water. He's at the same place where they first went on a date, and Hazel approaches him. She's finally found him and apologizes for not recognizing him sooner. Ali sobs to see Hazel in front of him. She tells him how much she has missed him and how she's been living in darkness without him. She begs him not to leave her again, and Ali breaks down. He expresses his longing for her and they embrace tightly. They caress each other's faces and finally find peace in each other's arms.